in the next 30 days, I'm gonna be taking part with Sam from Seeing Through Glass on the Modball European Rally 2016. I thought that it would be a good opportunity to come down to Southern Sky Motors and test out very specific cars that they have got in stock at the moment and try and come up with the perfect supercar or car package to do a supercar rally in. You are completely open to the elements. You get that sense of speed so much more than you do in the hard top because your hair is all over the place. <laughs> I suppose get something a little bit yellow. So we are jumping from the convertible range to an out and out supercar. Well, I'm not sure Thursdays get too much better than what I'm currently experiencing now. We are on the hunt for the perfect package to do Modball Rally in. That's not saying that me and Sam aren't considering taking our own cars, the AMG GTS or the F-Type. They're both fantastic GT cars. And as we've learned over taking them on Europe once before, they are incredible at long distances. However, I'm basically wanting to know what is the best or what is the perfect package in a car to do something like the Modball Rally in. So from London to Valencia, over 1500 miles, spending so much time in a car. There's so many elements and attributes that you want from a car that the Porsche definitely has some of them. The Lamborghini definitely has some of them. Now we're gonna jump in a BMW M4. This is gonna be the first time that I've driven a BMW M4 on public roads. So I'm quite excited actually to just see what all of the fuss is about. I know that Sam doesn't particularly like the M4s, but we have got one in Austin yellow. So I'm quite excited. It's gonna be bright. It's gonna be a head turner. Let's see how this car performs and how it goes up against the Lamborghini and the Porsche. So here we go, we are now driving a sports car, automatic, flappy paddles, a car that you have owned. I've owned, yeah. And that you absolutely love. I love, yeah. You love the BMW M4. Great car. I am looking forward to putting this car to the test up against the convertibles, up against the supercars, as this sort of falls into, I would say the super sports car. I'd yeah. say it fits into the super sports car. Rear wheel drive, I've heard that it is tear happy. Not that we're gonna get into that today, but it sounds good. That sounds really good actually. It's a very comfortable place to be. So much more visibility than the Lamborghini. Yeah. Already the windscreen feels about three times as, as big, meaning that I can at least see out of it. These sorts of cars just fit into such a perfect bracket because these, this, this car has got the performance of a, a 2004 Ferrari. Yeah. Like, it is as quick as the lights of the 360, probably as fast as the 360 Challenge with Ali. And it's one of those things that you completely forget about. I remember when I borrowed the McLaren 570S and bumped into a Ferrari Enzo and then people were commenting on Instagram saying that the 570S is quicker than the Enzo. And that is what is totally nuts. So this car has definitely got supercar performance, which will keep up with some of the cars that are gonna be on the Modball Rally. But you get some of the, the modern technologies and usability and practicality of a normal BMW or all, all sorts of cars. Yeah, this being, I suppose, up against the C63. Would you say it's up against the RS5 as well? Because this is kind of a different yeah. car. Like, I kind of feel this is a direct rival to the C63. Um, they, they sit in the same, you know, it's the three rivals. Yeah. It's the C63, the RS5, and this. And I, I think, you know, for me, this is the, the driver's, you know, for me, I love driving it. I think this is the, the driver's car out of the three. The RS5 is four wheel drive. I think it feels a little dated compared to this now. It's still a great car. Yeah. And as I say, you sit in the Audi cab, you can argue with me. You're not wrong. You know, I'm not right. You're not wrong. Um, yeah. Well, it, yeah, it's a, it is a, it's such a. And the new C63 share, you know, shares a lot of bits from, from the, the GTS. Yeah. yeah. And a fantastic car. It's amazing wow. how quick these cars are. Yeah. This car feels faster than the turbo. Yeah. It, you know, on paper it's probably not, but the power delivery is much yeah. more. It's more involving and intoxicating drive. If yeah. that's the right I mean, too fluffy. No, 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 I agree. I agree. Um, and this car, having so much carbon in the inside, the one thing that I would say that lets down the M cars from the BMW range is they just put the same interior in 
that you can get in the 4 Series as well, but because this car and this example has got so much carbon everywhere, just it, it adds to that sort of special factor. Now, so now the front responsibility should be turned up and it should be in a bit faster. <laughs> well, those gear shifts. They're pretty the, exceptional. The <laughs> That's a, oh, I'm doing that again. <laughs> So there is one more car, or one more category, that I want to test and to try and create the perfect package for a car that would be the perfect car to do the model rally. And that is the Luxury Series, and there is the perfect car at Southern Sky. I'm already in love with it. It is a Bentley Continental GT, the facelifted one. It is a V8? No. It is a W12. W12. So W12. it's got the proper engine, and it has got a £10,000 carbon fiber body kit from factory from it's factory. not a mantra it's, it's a factory carbon kit front splitter side skirts and rear diffuser that i will show you and that is what i'm excited about because it has got even more performance than this even more luxury than this yeah. but of course it costs more than this <laughs> from car number three to car number four. I, like I said, I'm already in love with this car. I think it is absolutely amazing. And the dream daily has got to be a Bentley Continental GT. I know it's quite a footballer's car, but I think it is so cool, super comfortable. And Sam, who is currently owning a Ferrari F40, who I did the McDonald's roulette with, he had one of these for a bit and I fell in love with it. It's so comfy, I spent quite a lot of time in it. This car is specced to perfection and this is definitely the luxury category from these selection of cars. So we've done the Porsche, the convertible, we've done the supercar, we've done the sports car, now it's time to do the luxury and whether a luxury car is the way forward on the Mobile Rally. Oh, look at this. This is what luxury is all about. All these buttons, stupidly thick carpets. Oh, look at this. Oh, let's get the GoPro set up. Oh, I'm, feeling, I'm excited. This is the one car that I'm the most excited about actually driving out of all of them. Just, I don't know. I definitely need to move this seat around though. You can find the uh, massaging function at the front of there if you want. What? I'll yeah. give that a go as well. Some winner that is. So, is it, does this car send the um, seat belt yeah. back? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That'll go once you start it. Oh, we so. need the key. Nope. Oh. oh, yeah, look. There you go. There she goes. Let's get the aircon on. Do you want an air conditioned seat? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so many gadgets in this car that. I don't put it down. That's different to mine. Right, okay, so this is the first few meters that I've done in the car, and it is coming up with my average fuel consumption is 13 mpg. <clears throat> Respectable. <laughs> So, what you get with a lot of luxury, you are compromising on potentially a fuel economy, but again, because this is a W12, maybe that is the reason why. But this is so quiet, it is so comfortable, it is so relaxing, it is so smooth, it is hot. You kind of feel like you're a bit king of the road in this. You get that sort of impression that the way that you sit, the driving position, the way that this car drives, the silence that this car carries itself in, you do feel a little bit like royalty, which is why. Do the, do the royal family have Bentleys or Rolls Royce? Yeah, Bentleys. Bentleys, yeah. I thought it was. Rolls Royce is not Once we get some open space, I'm going to be able to put my foot down and work out just what you get with luxury, but what you lose from luxury as well. But one thing you do get is massaging seats. Foot model. Oh, it's like working its way out my back. <laughs> it's a long drive. It's really yeah. So let's say we're sort of in our final leg. We are driving from Monaco to Barcelona. Not the final leg. That's the penultimate leg. Barcelona to Valencia. It's been a long week of filming. No technology as well because in the Modball Rally this year, me and Sam are not allowed to use our sat nav. In terms of technology, like we're going to be pretty screwed 
but massaging seats will make that all a little bit better. And it's really working actually, it's quite nice. I'm just gonna lean back and actually put my foot down. I don't think a Bentley's been driven like that. Whoa! <laughs> it's like a proper speedboat. <laughs> and I mean, well, I could just 40% throttle. This is probably the BMW M4 flat out. Totally crazy. Totally crazy. So having driven convertible supercar sports car and now luxury guys what would you say is the perfect car to do the mod ball rally in this again this isn't me and sam who isn't here saying that we're not going to do it in our amg or our jaguar we have done road trips in the past in those cars so we are considering our options so this video was for me to get an idea as to what direction we want to potentially go down if we don't take our own cars. So Grant, thank you for inviting me down and being able to drive some of these cool cars. And please comment in the comment box below on what you think, what you guys, what would you take? If you were doing Mod Ball, what car would you take? because I will be checking them out and I'm also going to be making sure Sam checks them out so that we can have as much fun as possible on the Mod Ball Rally, which is happening at the end of June. So head down to Pall Mall, head down to the starting grid, or if you're from Lyon, if you're from Paris, if you're from Monaco, Barcelona or Valencia, come down there. There's going to be more details announced very soon as to where we're going to be with our cars. So thank you for watching guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. I have thoroughly enjoyed filming it. So thank you for watching guys. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you very soon for some more supercar action. Most likely going to be in London because I need to do some more car spotting. So thanks guys. Cheers.